Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today as you can probably see by what we have here on my desk, we're going to be taking a closer look at Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 that I recently featured in my last episode of Thrift Store Finds. And if you did not see that video and you want to go check it out, uh, I'll have a, a card come up at the top right of your screen right now to go and check it out. I did find a lot of cool stuff in that video, but I did want to take a closer look at Microsoft Flight Simulator right here. As, as I mentioned in that other video, I have not played this particular version of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator before. I, I uh, did play an older version, I think version 7. Uh, 7.5 maybe I don't know what it was called but I did play an earlier version of this you, you know many years ago but this is the first time that I've actually gotten my hands on this game I've seen gameplay of this but I've never actually played it myself so what I wanted to do, to, to do today is as I said take a closer look at this um, do a little unboxing here and actually install this on my modern Windows 10 PC and see how it works so this is the box that it comes in right here uh, it looks pretty nice. It's uh, you know it says games for Windows up at the top, PC DVD. So this was a uh, around that time where um, Microsoft was branding all their um, games as uh, you know games for Windows up there. Um, and this cost $19.99. I'm not sure if this is when it first came out or if this is uh, a discounted price. But I paid only five bucks for this, which I thought was you know a, a pretty good deal and here are the specifications back here uh, you need to have at least Windows XP Service Pack 2 or Vista with either 256 or 512 megs of RAM a 1 gigahertz processor 15 gigabytes of hard drive space you need at least a 56.6k uh, uh, modem or better for internet play um, for playing over dial-up here's your video card um, other stuff so yeah copyright out uh, 2006 so this was uh, around the time that Vista came out that's why we got that Vista logo up there, so we'll go ahead and just take it out of its sleeve here, and we'll go ahead and open it up. So this is the case right here that it comes in. I'm currently blocking out the product key, but it comes with these two discs right here. Um, they're just labeled disc one and disc two, and then it also comes with this insider information manual right here. You can go to fsinsider.com to, I guess, learn more about it. And this is the manual right here. So this is going to tell us exactly how this game works, how to install it. Um, and I guess what uh, what planes that you're able to use. I'm not I'm not sure if it actually says any of that. We got some info about flight school, inside information for new pilots. Take the tutorials. Use a joystick controller, which I don't have, but I may end up getting one if I end up playing this game a lot. Um, as I know, that's the preferred way of playing this game uh, among you know. I'm sure most people that play this game would rather use some you know something like a joystick rather than a keyboard and mouse. Um, yeah, so here's a oh, wow, look, an old Intel ad for a Core 2 Duo. I guess that's pretty much it for, um, the little short unboxing here. I guess what I'm going to do now is actually switch over to my computer. I'm going to uh, put this disc in and we'll just jump into the installation. All right, so here we are for the first time. I'm going to be putting this into my computer. So let's just go ahead and take disc one out of the packaging here. And I'm not sure what's on disc one and disc two. I assume one might be like the main installation and you know the other one may have like some bonus add-ons or something, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put disc one into my computer right now and we will see what happens. I assume it's gonna come up with like an auto run or something like that. There we go, FSX disc one. All right, here we go. So I finally got it to start up. It's uh, preparing the install shield wizard. And we are going to see what it does. It's preparing to install. So I did have to run that DVD check.exe, and I'm thinking what that is was like some sort of a genuine verification tool that they put on here that you have to run first, and it'll verify if this DVD is actually genuine, um, or if it's just like a, a bootleg copy, and then it won't work. So it might be some sort of you know copy protection but i'm not 100 percent sure so here we are at the flight simulator 10 setup we're just going to go ahead and i'm actually going to see what these more options are so we will i'm actually going to move this to my games folder so i'll go ahead and change this over to games and we're going to go ahead and make a new folder i'll just call it uh flight sim x and so that's what we're going to install. We're going to install for all users. Run Flight Simulator 10 after install. We're not going to view the README, and we will add a shortcut to the desktop. So we'll go ahead and click Install. All right, so it's attempting to connect to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 
activation servers and we're going to see if they're still up. I assume they have to be still up. So there we go, you've successfully activated Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 on this computer, so obviously the servers for activation are still up because you can still buy this game on Steam. So we're going to click on finish and we're launching the game right now. So for the first time, while this was installing, I went onto Steam and I tried to just put the product key into like the activate a um, new product on Steam or, you know, like the thing that you go to when you purchase like a game key from somewhere, or from somewhere else or when someone gives you a key on Steam. Um, I, I, I tried to enter the, the Microsoft Flight Simulator key in that and it didn't work. So it's obviously like whatever version that Steam is selling on their Steam store has like a different key system, I guess, than what like the retail copy does that, that, that was actually sold in stores. So here we are on this uh, getting started screen. No experience necessary. Thank you for producing my Microsoft Flight Simulator 10. So yeah, so you've got three options. I'm new, I'm back, or I'm a real pilot. So I mean, I've played this, but it's been so long since, I mean, and I didn't play Microsoft Flight Simulator 10, but I played an older version. It's been really long. So I'm going to actually go with I'm new, but even if you were like a real world pilot, you could, you know, just go with this option and it will basically tell you all of like the basic stuff about the simulator that you'll need to know. So I'm going to actually go with I'm new. And oh, check that out. We got like, <laughs> we got music for a second there. Oh, check this out. An error has occurred in the script on this page. So this is, uh, we'll click no. Yeah, something's kind of screwed up with the, let me go ahead and... Yeah, something's kind of screwed up with the installer here. Or, not the installer, but the launcher, because it's literally just... I mean, even, okay, so let me get out of that. Alright, so we're just gonna launch Free Flight because the home page is kind of screwed up. So here's all the airports that we can choose from. There's just a bunch in here, so I don't really know... Let's just go to the O2 Ranch in Alpine, Texas, <laughs> and see what that's about. Let's go ahead and click on OK. So we can change the weather. So we'll just do fair weather just to start out with. And current time, um, let's just change it to day. So it'll be daytime. And let's go ahead and fly now. So there we go. Uh, I got the game working finally, and I'm here doing one of these uh you know tutorial missions flying this float plane right now so that's that's pretty awesome i again i'm not using like a joystick or anything so i'm a, if i actually plan on like playing this game i'm probably gonna get one of those maybe go to like a thrift store or something that'd be like like a great place to find um you know one of those so that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Um, yeah, just a, just a quick look at Microsoft Flight Simulator 10. We've got some awesome tech videos coming uh, in this next week. I've got some awesome projects that I'm working on that I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos in the future from me. And as always, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.